My mom would be at all my sporting events. Let's say I was playing football. My mother would be on the sidelines, and let's say the action on the field went one way. My mother would run along with it. She's like, Mark, get him, get him. I'd be like, oh my gosh. I'd be on the field, we get in the huddle with the guys, they go, Mark, is that your mother? I go, no, I never saw her before in my life. <laughs> but seriously, some of you guys can relate to that. So my mom, she really empowered me to become special in sports. See, the greatest gift my mother ever gave me, she believed in me. I've overdosed on drugs on three occasions where I should have been dead, but I believe I was kept here for a reason. You show me your friends, I will show you your future. How do I know this? Because I hung out with losers, I became the biggest loser of them all because I gave up everything I dreamt about as a little boy because of who I chose to surround myself with. My friends would drive me home at two, three, four in the morning. We'd be drunk and high in the car. We'd, pe we'd pull up in front of my house, my buddies would go, Mark, 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 the light's on. I'd go, oh man, my mother's up. See, my mom wouldn't go to bed until she knew her son was still alive. I'd walk in, she'd say, hi Mark, how was your night? It was good, Mom, I'm just gonna go to bed. She goes, can I, can I talk to you just for a minute? I go, Mom, I'm tired, I'm just gonna go to bed. She goes, Mark, I haven't seen you all day and all night. Can I please talk to you? I go, man, just leave me alone. You bug me. I'd slam my bedroom door on the one person who believed in me. I was on a worldwide tour and I was wrestling overseas in Japan. After my wrestling match, I went upstairs to my hotel and I fell asleep. There was a knock at my door at three o'clock in the morning. I got out of bed, I looked through the safety window of the hotel door and I could see it was a Japanese promoter. So I opened the door and he said, Mark, you need to call home, there's been an emergency. So I got on the hotel room phone, I called back to the United States and said, hey, what's going on? He said, Mark, I don't know how to tell you this. I go, just tell me what happened. All of a sudden they started crying. They go, Mark, I can't tell you. Just say it. I said, Mark, your mother died. I just threw the phone down. I ran out of my hotel room. I took the elevator to the lobby. When the doors opened up, I just ran out into the street. And I remember looking up and just saying, Bob, I am so sorry. I flew home for her funeral and I was so nervous to walk up to her casket. So I just stood way in the back. I remember just kept thinking to myself, I'm like, Mom, please wake up, please give up. And then I finally got the nerve to walk up to her. And she was so beautiful. She was, she was dressed in white. I mean, she looked like an angel. I said, Mom, you are my hero. Everything I am, everything I hope to be was because of you. You loved me so much. You gave me a life. You worked two jobs. You're the only one that ever believed in me. How did I repay her? By getting drunk? By getting high, by getting stupid, by hanging out with losers, for what? All she ever wanted to do was talk to me. If you have a mother or a father, tell them how much you love them. See, my whole life was about being rich and famous. That's all I cared about. I had to win the race. I had to win the race to expense of my marriage, my family, my friends, for what? To be all alone in this world? That's not how it's intended to be. Life is not about winning the race. Life. It's about finishing the race and how many people we can all help finish this race. How we can start being kinder to each other. How we can help the students that are going through adversity right now. How we can stop with the name calling and hurting other people. Because in the end, it may be you that needs help to finish the race. Because I learned what is truly important and that is how precious this gift of life is and how quickly it can be taken away. See, I, don't long, I no longer live in time. I live in moments. I'm not worried about tomorrow. See, it's not what's in your pocket that matters. It's what's in your heart that truly matters. Love, love is just a word until somebody comes along and gives it meaning. You are the meaning.